I remember when I was 12, my parents and I, we took a tour at the Walt Disney Animation Studio in Orlando. And it was wonderful to actually see an animation studio. But however, it was apparent that the secrets that they have was definitely elusive to the outsider. You know, because here as a tourist, we were behind a plexiglass. So that plexiglass was pretty much like a solid metaphor for like that veil is mystery. But um, so flashing forward, you know, I, I still wanted to learn animation, but just it was impossible at the moment, at the time. Because in order to learn, you would have to go to out-of-state um university or a private college or even overseas and it was virtually impossible for me at the time earlier last year or so that i um started to take animation courses and i'm i'm telling you i have seen so many online animation courses but there was always still that veil of mystery flash forward um to this year, I came across AMB's um, YouTube channel, AMB Real Animators tra um, Training, and I was blown away. I just couldn't believe, you know, the knowledge that he was putting out there, the lectures that he was doing. It just pretty much ripped that veil of mystery off the face of the earth. And the thing that really sets his um, archive, his online to, you know, lectures and stuff apart from everyone else is the basics. That's the one thing that a lot of the books, a lot of the online animation stuff lack was the extreme basics, you know. And when I started on that archive, I started understanding the spacing, the timing the arcs, the um, slow in, the slow out. And with each exercise, it builds up on each other. And as a result, I start s seeing, you know, the arcs. I start understanding and timing things in my head. And it was just so fascinating. And because of that, it just helped revive, you know, my lifelong desire of learning animation. And it just made me so happy that I'm able to pursue and to dream of becoming an animator. So thank you. So, are you going to join the library? Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome once again to another edition of AMB Animation Livestream. All right, so you may remember that on a previous stream, we animated a hula girl dancing, and I showed you how I look at reference uh, and make sketches from reference and then interpret that into character. So what we're going to be doing on today's stream is we're going to be following up a little bit on that. I've taken the animation a little bit further. Um, I've drawn the character in. I've already added elements of follow through, overlap and drag in it. But I thought what I will do as I do the hula skirt, <coughs> excuse me, I will do that live and explain to you how we do something like a grass skirt on the character. So... Hopefully you're going to have a lot of fun watching me reveal some uh, fundamental secrets in how, it's, how it all works and looks effective uh, and not overdone. Okay, so we, b before we continue with that, uh, I'm going to say some hellos to the people who have made themselves known on the chat. We have got Cameron Allen Davidson Black uh, burning the midnight oil, it would seem. <laughs> On the stream, how are you? We've got Alpha Proto. Good to see you. Max Papa Power Up. We've got Max Power. Good to see him on the stream. And Charlene Giles, who was uh, 
uh, in the intro of my stream giving her review of the real animator training library so um, good to have the Charlene live on air with us um, okay so there we are that is our hellos now I'm gonna be shifting over we're gonna be doing the the live stream and uh, keep your comments coming if you're gathering in keep your questions coming and then I'll try to answer them as uh, as I go along in the live stream all right so let's change up uh, let's, let's have, have my, my mic. mic as usual let me know how the sound is is everything working all right here so let's have a little bit of a recap you will remember that we were studying live action reference okay the live action of mickey mouse and this ghost walking <laughs> we were studying live action reference of a hula girl and i just made very quick gestural sketches of the hula girl and produced this then I went on to do the keyframes of the uh, the cartoon uh, character, which I was going to base off my hula reference. And I've gone on and, and done that so we can see that she's dancing away here. Now, there are elements of follow through overlap and drag. Let me just duplicate some of these uh, frames and um, and paste them so you can you can have a look as I scrub along there and you can see so as I've I've basically drawn in the character on model and um, cleaned up some of the arcs so it's definitely got that natural feel to her movement which is based on the live action but it doesn't feel rotoscoped because it's not it's based on sketches rather than tracing over it's got a natural feel to it, but also I've exaggerated and made the movements uh, a lot more cartoony, but keeping the uh, human anatomy and everything in principle to itself. I have also added follow through overlap and drag on the character's breasts and hair. Uh, there's going to be more uh, follow through overlap and drag. She's going to have a garland of flowers around her neck. And she's going to be wearing a grass skirt because, you know, if we would have animated the character in the skirt, um, as I made the reference studies of the legs, the woman was actually wearing a skirt. So I had to guess what the um, thighs, what the thighs in relation to the hips were doing as I made these reference studies. But that's where anatomy comes into play. And uh, as you can see, we've got the hula girl now fully mechanically working there this is not in between it is just keyed and break down broken down but um i will later add in betweens and timing to it but at the moment it's all about the the main mechanics of having it so the whole thing does loop and cycle but uh it's not so much about getting the cycle right it's about getting the mechanics right so we can cut away we've got some other people on the stream joining us we've got the lovely Hervonia Baker we have got Jamie Dore uh, and we have got Mr. Leon so good to have you guys joining me on the live stream all right now follow through overlap and drag of a grass skirt now I had a little look at how uh, some hula girls dancing in a grass skirt to help aid me with my idea of the flow, but I'm not going to study that reference and and do it. I'm gonna it's it's I'm gonna use my you know again to take it away from the live action a little bit. It's got a it's got some a di exaggerated follow through overlap and drag, and we're gonna do that on the skirt as well. So. Now, it's going to have to cycle back, but um, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to think about the wave principle. So I'm going to think about ha having the skirt kind of... I'm going to think about basically having the skirt hanging down by her side. And now this is, I'm going to frame the skirt with just these two lines, right? The skirt's probably going to be about this long. 
Um, and now I'm going to go through this whole follow through principle, but I have to think about the texture. Um, awesome. Thank you, Dylan Smith. I, I have to think about the texture of the, the grass skirt. And as I was watching the reference, I noticed just how, um, how light and floaty the the grass skirt was in the follow through overlap and drag so i'm gonna have to try and and build some of that in there now what you can see me doing let's get in here right let's get in right here what you can see me doing is obviously it has to be in relation to the hip right but i've got to think about as it's straightening up i'm gonna put like a wave like this whole animation like her arms is like waves right because it's the hula right and then the hips are like swaying in a figure of eight. So it's giving a very wavy motion. So just to give you a brief, like as I as I did the hair of the character, I, I basically tried to get a little wave going along here. Now that's quite unnatural, but that's the thing about designery animation. Like I had to keep it natural, but uh, put some of that in there to, because it, that's, you know, pushing it, exaggerating it, going beyond the live action aspect of it, right? So that's what I was thinking about, of having everything like like waving water. So I want to keep that theme going as I go with the, uh, the grass skirt. So I want to think about putting a little bit of a and that's what would happen anyway with the grass skirt, this kind of wave of follow through overlap and drag. So this is going right back to what we learn in the basics archive of real animator training. So I'm gonna then just be doing this straight ahead actually. So uh, we're gonna kind of have, have it, I think if it comes up a bit, we're gonna introduce another one, can we? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, let's introduce another little wave there. If it's too much, then I'll take it out. But that's the thing, right? We're not in a hurry, especially if you're working on your own work to develop your skills. Why are you in such a hurry, right? Is posting on Instagram and getting the few meager likes and shares really gonna propel you forward? or is spending time playing and experimenting with your artwork gonna be more beneficial for you. So let's not hurry when we're doing things. Let's explore and play, right? So now we're gonna turn this this way. I wanna get the real floaty feel, so I'm still gonna keep some drag on this, on this side, bum, 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 like this the wave, the drag. Now this is going to be coming down. So as that comes down, then this is going to come out and up and like this. Bum, bum. So you can see I've got this kind of water wave effect on that as that hip is just kind of leaning in there. Now this leg is stepping here, so I have to keep the drag going on. So I'm not really interested in putting on my light box, right? Because I want to watch the movements. I want to watch how it's moving, right? That's the main thing, the flow of the action. We want to keep it flowing. Now she's turning a little bit, right, this way. So, hip moves f there, right? So then I'm going to climb the wave, right? We're going to climb that. Bum, 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 bum. Right? And then as this steps in, now we've got a lot of negative space under the skirt, right? So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to use the weight of that change in the step to bring this here. 
now I've got to think about having that wave I'll, I'll, I'll scrub in a minute so you can see where I'm going with this, right? So if that's traveling there, then I've got to really, I think I'm going to straighten it like a pendulum. We're going to straighten out the wave completely, right? Bum, 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 bum. That's good, right? And then watch what the other side is doing. Now she's going to be stepping out so i'm gonna have that going against her knee right and i have to think about when i make the the dress all of the other is some of her knee gonna come through the grass skirt or not i don't think so right at this stage because she's taking little steps right so i think she's gonna be fully covered by the glass skirt so um so here you can see what we've kind of got right you see we've got this nice kind of wave effect going on at either side of there right that because although it's a grass skirt they're all it's made out of layers and layers of grass and we can't do every every strand but those of you who've done the secret science of um a shape simplification lecture with the peacock uh, in the advanced archive of the real animator training library you'll kind of be familiar with uh, this kind of simplified complexity that we've got going on here right bum, 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 bum. let's continue man I love hand-drawn animation it's just so much fun I don't see why anybody would want to want to do the computer stuff or the AI stuff and and be cheated out of the fun of animating the follow-through overlap and drag right I mean it's just so much fun I don't care if it's not real according to real dynamics that's the beauty of of our art form we exaggerate right so now I'm gonna have the the skirt sway right that'll be nice to go against there so I'm thinking about the negative space here we're gonna keep a straight line so it's like almost like a little pendulum like swaying away here and there like that right that keeps a nice scene notice how they're kind of mirroring each other and I'm not I'm I'm looking back to see how they look in relation to each other but as I'm animating <coughs> excuse me as I'm animating I'm focusing on the um, the motion of each of them now there's a big change right so as she's stepping away we're gonna have to keep that sway going out there like that bum 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 perfect right so then but the other one is going to bum 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 probably just have a little kind of keep that a little bit like habit have them both going this way right so I've taken the wave out at the moment and I'm, I'm turning it into like a, a full-on like just a normal skirt so here I'm trying to reintroduce the wave back right in by putting a little subtle indentation there right just like that bum 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 Bum. right now we're gonna look at the other one this is gonna still drag in fact I may have it drag really push that right because it's a faster movement then I'm gonna kind of like have it come back on itself um, really give it that floaty feel that I wanted it because if it's gonna be in between it might float a little too much right now here I'm gonna 
play with the wave right here as the weight settles so as the as the weight shifts and she settles into that hip that stopping of the hip will create a nice wave effect which will come on the dress and it'll look great right um, now we got we can really play with this change of direction on this thing with a bigger movement like that as that comes out let's let's have a this so she's going lower so as she goes lower i'm gonna make the wave just a little bit like that perfect and then what will happen is is then that'll lead nicely into the straightening here bum, 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 bum. then that'll go let's put a little kind of echo of the shape of her leg it echoes the shape of her leg a little too much i don't want that to happen so let's just keep it dead straight again so a little bit different going on this side of the dress to the other one let's have a look at how it's looking um bum, bum, bum. Dylan Dylan Doster Dylan draws is online silver sun Zentron good to see you guys here okay so we can see that the skirt is starting to take form right we can see the follow-through overlap and drag happening in the sides of those right let's continue right um so this one we're going to have it really delay that and then swing this out bum, bum. so there's a little bit of a delay on there which will be nice let's just bring that in just a little bit it's a little too exaggerated we want to keep it exaggerated but subtle subtle exaggeration all right let's put start putting a little bit of a wave on this side because of the hip shift let's keep that going like that bum 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 all right again we want to keep that like that and this wave we will have climbing perfect so it'll climb climb a little bit let me just figure this out it's not that's too static nope that's no good you see the concentration you have to have sometimes it might be just nice to do one one side at a time but then what i've what, what that happens is, is I, I lose the relationship between uh the two lines that are representing the whole of the skirt so we want to turn that in we want to turn that out that's how we want that to be right now here's i think we're coming towards the end so we got to slowly think about the the cycling this knee protruding through the skirt could be a thing 
Uh, I'll have to think about it. At the moment, I'm doing the ideal movement, right, with just these simple lines. Um, the ideal movement with the simple lines is what I'm going for. Let's just have that like that. All right. Bum, bum. So one big wave. And now it'll become another. T we'll make a little wave going on in there like that. Bum, 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 bum. So you see everything is the wave principle here. All right. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know how, if we've got anybody who, like Zentron. Is Zentron still online? Zentron, do you remember those little Kenner real Ghostbusters action figures, right? I used to, I had them all and I had the fire station. Um, and their guns, they had these guns that would shoot the proton pack. The proton pack was like this. This is nothing to do with animation, right? So it would go in their arm like this, right? So the toy would have their, and then you, they'd have this little thing that you could hold with your fingers and rotate. And it was like a bent stream, like, like this. Man, I love those toys. And then you could you could change the way it was, and then when you would rotate it, you'd get this kind of neon glowing ray. And they would always break. They would always break from too much bend, bending around. And um, uh, when I'm animating this wave wave principle, I always remind get reminded of my Ghostbusters toys. <laughs> Right, anyway. Um. <laughs> I love that. I love the first movie and I love the real Ghostbusters. Right, so that goes this way. Bum, 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 bum. Then we're going to kind of straighten that out. I can see this animating back now. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Let's have it swing out on itself. Yeah, that's better. Bum, bum. Yep. And this one will have it come out. So now we're going to put the wave in here as she comes to a stop. So we're going to make that big. Maybe not. Let's have a look. We want that up there. Now, too stiff, too stiff. The focus and concentration to get this wave right, right? So we want that like that, right? So really we want that to come down like that. And this. This will come this way. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'm going to get my first do because I've got to get it looping back to this. Oh God, I've been drawing on the wrong layer. Never mind. Um, I think it's all on that layer. It doesn't matter. It's in a different color. We don't care. Right. Let's paste that in there, right? So that's going to loop back to that. Let's get this and we'll sort that out, problem out some other time off stream. I guess why I hate drawing on layers, but when we're doing something like this, it's necessary sometimes. Um, right, so uh, we've missed one. We've missed one. 
Damn it. Oh yeah, we missed it because I need to loop back to it. Right. So there's a bit of a stiffness going on around this point here with the, where I've tried to put this wave principle, but I'm 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 not too fussed about that. I can change that as I as I go along. I'm more happy that I tried something, right? And I answered the questions in my mind. Um, that's what it's all about. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Let's let's see how that loops, right? I want to see how that loops. All right before I think about taking that any further, edit copy panels, edit paste panels. All right, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that pretty much loops back with the exception of that slight stiff movement in the on one side at one point but I'm pretty much happy with the way that's going that I can start to build the hula skirt on top of that so let's undo that now um, I'm gonna have a look at some of the questions I might answer one or two questions at the moment, but before I do that, um, there's a donation link in the description. If you guys are liking this live stream and you want to say thanks to me for doing such awesome work and disclosing these secrets, um, please click on the ring link and, you know, buy me a drink, a digital drink. You can set the price whatever you want or you can uh, go with the fixed prices it'll be very much appreciated right so um we have got a question here from abdallah reba can you tell me how animators are able to draw any character or anything for a thousand times and how to get to that level i've been doing that for years um abdallah i've been uh disclosing that information for years on my channel but um, very quickly um, no it's not all animators can do that only some right and the, 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 the more I'll tell you what it is you need to have these things you need to have a strong understanding of anatomy right and you need to understand graphic design right now graphic design isn't can be many things it isn't just text right and poster art and images and symbols uh there's there's that that goes into um you know media and marketing and branding there's all of that going on but it's not really just about that it's about you know that the, the basic thing of graphic design is shape simplification simpler simplification all right should be able to spell it mr leon spell it out for me with the dab right and um you need to have exaggeration and you need to have appeal, right? Right. Which some people would combine these two and call it, now I don't even know how to spell this, caric caricature, right? I don't know how you spell caricature, right? So some people would like, but then Caricature artists are a completely different kettle of fish. I don't really think, you know, that they're, you know, the typical roadside caricature artist. I don't think 
personally this you know it's a, you could argue it's about taste but their drawing has a certain naivete for me of they've just understood how to do these generic exaggerations of human features and uh, I'm not sure that they understand shape simplification well enough to be animators um, they could be um, if they learned a few things but caricature art i don't recommend it if you want to be an animator i mean sure add it to your list of things to study it won't hurt but i would put it low on the list uh, i would understand shape and anatomy first right so those are the things that you have to learn right so it's not something and then the higher you get the better you get so you have to understand how right if if i'm gonna make a shape like this right if i'm gonna make a shape like this what is it gonna represent right so you have to immediately understand right or if i could make the same shape right like this right and these are two things doing the same thing but there obviously this one is masculine and this one is more feminine right so because in here you understand the human anatomy but they get simplified into shapes so right so this could be a guy putting his hands in his pockets right so he's he's standing and his legs are down here like this right now you these basic shapes can be turned into any style disney anime whatever you want because they're all rooted on human anatomy they've all got like the hip line and the shoulder line they've all got all these things that make the pose interesting right whereas the woman will be like like this kind of thing right with her hip hip out here like this so these again this could be turned into these could be turned into anything right any style but you 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 youngsters or whatever you're too used to looking at you're too interested in the finished style i want to draw the anime i my little tweet twitter cheat sheet says to do this and then to have it here and then if i put a number of little things in here and i make it heavy around here and I do this and then I put a few more lines here and then I shade the top half and then I put another fat ring around this is all bullshit it's all bullshit right it's not bullshit because you like it learning it learning spending time learning that when you don't know anatomy construction so like you want to go on top of these you need to understand the basic aspects of like okay so we'll turn this into a three-dimensional block right now if you just learn the three-dimensional blocks it's not really going to be very very beneficial for you because you really you'll you'll start to draw in a formulaic way right you have to understand the musculature that sits on in here how the the body squashes and stretches how the flab folds the obliques all these kind of things you got to spend you know the rest of your life refining that it's like working out if i stop working out i'm gonna get man boobs and i'm gonna get you know i'm in my i'm i'm, I'm approaching 50 right so if i stop right just because i've been doing it and i and i'm good right now you think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna not have to keep doing it so i know all this stuff but i regularly do gesture drawing and figure drawing to keep it in in my mind all the time so this is a lifetime continuation and then the more you look you're gonna have to study so let's say that he's got a anime jacket with collars right so you're gonna have to study how they they like fold up and and the bunches around here and all that you gotta you gotta study from life and then understand that all of these things you're looking at like anime or disney and all of that stuff it's all based on simplifying that stuff 
right so similarly this animation here i studied this very quickly this movement from life right and then i've gone on and i've started to do this right with my disney-esque character doing the hula right now i could have made this an anime character if i wanted to right because it's all based on simple shapes i could have made it some kind of comic book wonder woman character if i wanted to because it's all based on simple simplification of shapes so you again very quickly you might see people i'll tell you the different levels you might see people who are all the time drawing like this they're all the time like drawing us drawing some kind of sphere here they're drawing some kind of thing for the eye line they're putting a t-junction in here right and they're gonna fit the nose in here they're gonna put the eyes in here they've learned how to do the the little eyelids you know the inner eyelids and the around hair and then they do all their realistic kind of bone on the nose and all that and then they say like the lip is hair and then the ear will kind of measure along the side and the jaw will come down and you see all this kind of formulaic shit right the thing is is it's it's not shit but i like using those words because i want to wake people up when they watch my streams it's like i don't draw like that anymore i simply draw i simply draw an outline and i and i i, I basically create the expression so i'm focusing on the expression i'm focusing on what makes the face interesting because all of that stuff is is in my subconscious now i don't need to keep drawing every drawing that i do like that i can make it any style i want from here on in because i understand immediately that if it was a human skull right i understand that here's the eye socket here's the nasal bone right here's the maxilla right and i even know how many teeth right you've got four incisors two canines two two premolars and three molars right and then up here you got the zygomatic right so i've done this so many times right so i know what it, what a human skull looks like right so i know what it looks like i don't have to i know how to simplify it and break it down and to cheat it and to exaggerate it into any shape that i want so to get to that level you've got to kind of do those construction things but those construction things without understanding okay right so if i do that to the side of the head like mr glenn Keane says when when drawing aerial right he says always draw this kind of like side to the head and then like now if you're a beginner and you just want to draw like copycat drawings and have all your little friends go wow right you know good good i'm happy for you but if you want to take it further you want to understand what this represents right this represents the parietal bone and the temporal bone where there's a zygomatic arch coming here and the jaw is actually going to be fitting around about there inside there along the middle line then that's where the ear sits right so you got to and then here you got the frontal bone coming in here piecing together with the zygomatic bone here like this right that's going to come in here and the maxilla bone comes along here like this right so so long as you understand what the what the point of that that circle represents right it can be anything you want and then you can start doing the flat like for example anime love to anime love to be flat with it right anime are very detailed but their stylized stylization of faces is extremely either they have very small eyes like this right which come along the side but then everything i'm doing once you learn those like then then they'll just have a little kind of shape for the nose right so it's it seems like it's just like i'm making it up simple shapes and i am all right but i'm doing it with the with the knowledge that like everything is gonna be in the right place for example the ear you got the helix of the ear you got the tagos you got the anti tagos that sits in there like that you got the uh, canal and you got the crucis coming around the side of it so immediately i can make the ear 
if, even if he's an elf character, I can make the ear based on that, right? And then again, here we've got the 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 frontal bone where then you can have a brow line for the skull. So let's say that he's got a side parting and then you're going to throw in all these things, right? Around the side, right? The typical kind of anime hairline that exists on a character, you know? And then here, give him give him some sideburns, right? So frame it and, and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously with, with anime, you have to learn about the shadow because a lot of it is based on the shadow of how things fall on the character, right? So doesn't matter what style you're doing. Um, <laughs> funny, Black Belt Jones is in the chat. And um, uh, he's making the noise, so I have to do it. <laughs> well, look what we got here. Assaulting a police. I watched that on the aeroplane the other day. Do you have plans to animate Kim Possible Go starring alongside Goliath in the future? Not really, Jamie Dore. Um, uh, Kim Possible is a nice design, but it's not really the style is just too basic for my tastes um goliath is like uh reminds me of the batman animated series style maybe on a ask the animator i might do a fast little like if you're in the chat and we request me to animate something i might do something uh i might do something then but i'm not gonna I'm not going to spend a lot of my sweet time on 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 that uh, off stream. But uh, thanks for the question. Um, all right, so um, we have we've done the grass skirt at the first stage. I'm not going to go and change this, right? Even though I don't like this particular part of the motion, right? That's easy enough for me to change as I go along. I'm I'm gonna map out the rest of the skirt now. I've got bigger fish to fry. Ba -ba -bum. Have you seen Godzilla before, man? I to be honest, what is this? Okay, why has it done that? Okay, there we go. Um, I have not seen Godzilla since I was yay high. The only Godzilla I ever saw was this cartoon, and I remember the lyrics because I remember all the lyrics, and I haven't seen this. Like, I was not even in my tens when I saw this, but this is how good branding and marketing is for animated kids shows because I remember the lyrics. Up from the depths, 50 stories high, big and tall and reaching to the sky, Godzilla. And then they go, and Godzuki with some little thing. That's the only Godzilla I've ever seen. And, I, you know, I haven't seen Godzilla, I know, since I was like eight, nine years old, if I remember. Like, so it just doesn't interest me, to be honest with you, Silver Sun. Um, I know that Japanese have a big culture of that Ultraman and those guys in a suit wearing those suits and like um, never found the character interesting or inspiring enough. But uh, thanks for the question. Right, so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to think about joining this line at the bottom, right? And I, I can always change the length of it if I want, but at the moment I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on, on just joining the line at the bottom. All right. To what I see right you could like put a circle around it and animate a circle around it right in fact let's do that it'll kind of like give me a little bit of more feeling right of the the thing but again I don't want you thinking that this is all there is to it because there's gonna be other layers of grass in here as well but I'm just kind of like I'm so I'm I'm feeling my way with what I want to do with this this at the moment. Now notice how I'm kind of like 
playing with the 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 squash and stretch of the skirt right as I'm going along here like this bum, bum, bum. and I don't care is my skirt getting longer is my skirt getting shorter because it's a grass skirt and it's not gonna look like a, a, a cloth or anything it's gonna have like holes in it and strands of grass on it and stuff like that so um, at the moment I'm just again I'm thinking about the wave principle even with the bottom of the skirt right that's that's what I'm thinking about All right let's bring this one out bum, bum. Bring that out like that. Bum, 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 bum. Let's bring this here like this. Now, what I'm going to do before I take it any further is I'm going to have a little check of exactly what it is I've done right <laughs> so if I was doing this on paper you'd pick it off the pegs I want to go trip 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 roll it around foot, 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 foot. flip the paper have a check and put it all back right just so you know you're on the right track right yeah so yeah we've got something happening there that's working as a kind of like guide for the bottom of the skirt as we start going along here like that so let's continue with that i just saw the new godzilla minus one i haven't seen any of the other ones okay i remember playing a game yes so this is going to circle like this. Let's keep that stretched. Like this. Boom. Now I've got to think about the deformation. So it's like a wave, but I'm thinking of the wave as a kind of circle droplet of water kind of thing, right? That's just joined together, but I want to keep that one indentation. I want to keep it simple. I don't want to have this, right? I'm just going to keep that one indentation to keep things simple. Right now, here's where there's going to be a lot of some major changes on this, right? So I'm not going to. This is all like like a template. But hopefully I'm like decoding all of this for you. So you can see just how complexity becomes simplicity right? or simplicity is the answer to complexity because if you want to solve a problem you simply just go to the opposite of that problem and the answer lies in the opposite right so here we can see the skirt grows long as we go down there so again i'm not so concerned about that it's going to jump a bit when i do that but i don't care right like that let me just see if that more or less loops um edit copy panels also notice how I'm not caring about any what would be considered errors right 
at the moment right because we're building we don't really start we don't refine don't try to refine at the building stage right yep works just fine to me looking good right so now what i'm gonna do is i can i'm now i'm live so that's what makes it tricky because if i wasn't a cow a cow the warrior <laughs> a cow has entered the chat so um i if i was off stream i would think well do i want to start adding like complexity do i want to start adding another wave here and another wave here or do i want to just start doing this kind of thing around it right and you know what since we're live i'm gonna add some more complexity to the animation um and i'm gonna start adding some more two more middle waves so i'm not religiously gonna stick to this but this this is my guide to the bottom of the skirt right um so let's do that let's have this one go along the knee like this right that's nice right so i'm gonna do i'm just gonna focus on one wave at a time right so now we she has a sartorius muscle let let's play with anatomy so let's talk legs all right again to was it abdallah who asked me about drawing in any style right so the the pelvis let's work in the black you got a pelvis here like this you got an iliac crest right which comes here right and then that goes into the ilium bone which goes into your pubis right and then you got an ischism that goes underneath here right and all of them form this hip socket which is called the greater trochanter right your sacrum bone is here like this right so this is just one half right should be about here like that right now here's where your greater trochanter which is the top of your femur comes down here like this and then you've got the patella right then you've got your tibia bone right and then along the side you got your fibula bone right then here you got your talus bone right got your cuboid got your navicular your cunea forms right you see my anatomy course is so good that i have never forgotten these things that i have shared with you in my anatomy course now what isn't well actually this isn't my advanced archive but i don't focus so much on muscles right because this is what you're going to be animating this could be anything right you could make this a leg like this or you could make it a big fat stiff pair of pants right as long as you move the joint that's why animators focus on joints more than muscles but muscles are important i don't want you to think that i'm not saying they are now up on the the bone here right the iliac crest we have something called the sartorius which comes there to your knee to your patella tendon right then uh, attached here you've got your gracilis right actually it's attached here and it comes here right and then in here on all these things is your abductors now why am i telling you all this right because then and then along the, along here right you're gonna have your rectus femoris you're gonna have your vastus lateralis your vastus medialis your uh, tensor fasciae latae coming along the side here your peroneus longus your tibialis anterior right so why am i telling you all this when we're animating a hula skirt right i'll tell you why right and you can thank me with a donation if you really feel this this has opened your eyes right so i could just make up the waves inside here and have the grass skirt waving but i'm gonna focus on some anatomy landmarks i'm gonna bring that where her sartorius is like that right now i'm gonna try and focus on that sartorius shape right 
but but animating the wave aspect of this this thing and I'm gonna focus on this piece of the skirt right now I'm gonna look at that again right now if you're not gonna donate me right even I feel how fucking badass this tip I'm sharing with you is, right? So give me a like, give me a, give me a subscribe, give me a share, right? Um, I will read that question in a minute. Uh, D Cat Dan, right? So I'm gonna just focus on this element, right? So now we're gonna keep the wave going here like this All right. so I'm I'm adding some complexity to the skirt right and it's gonna really help me with the grass grass strands to look more um, natural and more like like they've been referenced when they haven't right what they have been is just following the anatomy of the character, right? So now we're gonna open this, right? It's so much fun, man. I just love hand-drawn animation. Now I'm gonna change this knee slightly. I'm go I've got a kind of keep it with the I'm gonna have an extra wave in there just to have the characters anatomy coming through like that as I'm beefing up this this animation right. so we're gonna have something like that Bum, 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 bum. Now it's gotten thinner because the leg is rotated out to the side and I'm focusing on where the sartorius muscle is. Now we, get, we can play with it, right? We can bring it right out again. Like this. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Um, and what I will do is, is at the bottom of each little section I will have this and it'll look like such a nice complex piece of animation right um, just simply Mr. Leon the secret science finish finish the sentence Mr. Leon the secret science off right like he doesn't know <laughs> now Mage Burger isn't here to do that Mr. Leon has, uh, sorry, Mage, Mr. Leon has kind of taken your place for that one. If you watch, end up watching the stream, because because Mr. Leon has kind of become the official representative of uh, the secret science of shape simplification now uh, in your absence. Um, so that's like that. So it's no longer a Sartorius hair because I have to think about the, the, the shape. And maybe I can have that knee coming through the dress now as she bends it, right? So, so really the Sartorius would be doing this. But I want to think about that as a section of the skirt now, right? So I use the Sartorius as my guide but I want to I've got to remember that the skirt is independent it's not glued to the character's legs right so obviously as we come into this I'm gonna have my own independent wave going on there 
Let's have a little look. We are all part of the secret science, that's why. Um, yeah, so can you see how now that's that like part of that skirt is like now that's a section of the grass skirt, right? Just like that. Let's see how we're building that on. Um, what is this question I've got here? Um, uh decap dan i know how to, how i know practice is the answer to most things but do you have any tips on how to keep the track of multiple movements while animating let's say the character walking and gesturing while talking one practice isn't the answer to most things right because somebody could go tell you to practice something and that practice is absolutely i always tell this my daughter was playing the piano she's studying music at the moment uh, she's on her second year in her degree in musical composition and she's she's working with some awesome while she's like wanting to be a composer she's really obsessed with being good at playing the piano like a performance pianist because she's you are who you hang around with and she's hanging around with these awesome let me just talk for a bit because this is important this answer to this question is important so so the thing is is like she's you are who you hang around with so she's hanging around with these awesome performance pianists like one of them's like the rising star in new zealand he gets sponsored to go to london all the time and whatnot and she was sitting down just repeatedly making the same notes over and over again on the piano and i'm standing over her shoulder like this and she's like don't watch me don't watch me and i said no there's an important lesson to be had here what is it that you're doing? She goes, I'm practicing. I said, you're not practicing. You've got to understand that you're not practicing. She said, if I'm not practicing, what am I doing? I said, and I, it's, it's the old thing that I go, this, those of us, what do we call, what do we call these, right? What's one of them called? It's called a rep, right? It's called a rep. It's a repetition, right? It's a repeat, repetition of the same movement, right? That's what it is. So real animated training is not based around teaching. And it's not based around practice, right? My system, which is why it's so powerful, that R in the background represents the word real. But R also represents repetition. So you could... This is why most people just don't can't get good or they and they and then they think that they are not capable. You're perfectly capable. Each and every one of you is perfectly capable of being awesome. Now you're all going to be awesome in your own unique way. But what stops you is the boredom of repetition. Right? I use my punch always as an example. All the time we, we're, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. And then eventually one day, boom, boom, boom. I get the snap every time. The repetition is there, right? So it's only from doing something over and over and over again are you going to get good at it. And that is not practice right you could call it practice but really for you people who are self-teaching yourself off the internet or even buying courses and trying to discipline yourself to get good i want you to stop thinking of it as practice it's not practice it's repetition you got to do the same thing over and over and over and over again in order for you to be good at it. Why? Because your brain cells need to be programmed at that thing. So if you want to animate multiple movements while animating, let's say a character walking and gesturing while he's talking, I could give you all the spiel about, well, it's an opposing action, so as he's going into the down, we want his hands going up, 
and then as he comes up his hands go down so that's the gesture he could be gesturing he could be bouncing so as he as he lands in the contact position he his hands up and then as he comes down he bounces but we throw a double bounce and then as he goes to swing his hand this way we could have his head turned the other way and bob his head in the gesture i could give you all of that but what am i really doing i am simply applying animation law to the process animation law the 12 laws timing arcing slowing in slowing out pose to pose and straight ahead follow through overlap and drag solid drawing squash and stretch anticipation primary and secondary action exaggeration appeal and staging boom i've got them imprinted I've got them tattooed on my inner eyelids because I've repeated these laws over and over and over and over and over. Do you get it? And over and over again to the point that everything I do when I sit down and I draw and I animate is there. I don't have to look for it. I don't even have to try. It's as easy as farting in the wind, right? And then you enjoy other people's faces when they smell it, right? <laughs> so the point of the matter, the point is, right? Repetition of the necessary things that are required for you to succeed. That's the simplicity of the answer. So don't get into the technicalities. I need to learn this. I need to learn that. You need to learn the fundamentals. And yes, anatomy, if you want to draw, human anatomy is one of the musts, the absolute musts. And you can see how here when I'm taking things onto, new, on, onto newer levels, I'm using human anatomy even for sectioning off the skirt of the hula dancer. So hopefully, um, hopefully that little answer to that question uh, you'll find helpful and it's my pleasure to give you that info all righty let's get back to our um, animating our hula skirt right so now like as I said depending on what kind of animator you want to be I could have just filled in the big chunk of the skirt with lots of like dancing lines doing this and a lot of people would be watching it and watching all the movement there's so much going on here the hair the breasts the floating arms the 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 steps that they won't care they go wow great animation but what kind of animator are you what are you aiming for when you do a piece of work when I do a piece of work, okay, um, thank you very much to somebody. I'm not going to disclose your name. If you're watching the live stream right now, maybe you're not. I believe from the price of the product that you purchased that you may have bought the Sakuga archive. I'm not sure. Let me just double check. Um... Yes, so if you're watching right now, right, you should be automatically enrolled into that archive. But with the, with, with, with the internet being what it is and the website hosting or whatever being what it is, there may be a possibility that that doesn't happen. Just bear with me, I will check that after the live stream that that's all okay, right? So thank you very much to whoever that is. Um, uh, if you have made that decision to uh, get the Sakuga archive. All right, so depends what kind of animator you are. Are you going to be making things moving so that you know that you're moving it to the best of its ability or, um, or not? Right, so let's continue piecing this skirt together. Bum, 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 bum. So 
we go from the I gotta watch see now I broke the flow while talking to you guys um, that's one of the problems of of animating live I break the flow while talking to you guys and then my I gotta get back into it but it's not hard as I said you know what makes things harder is when you consciously make an effort right now that sounds counterintuitive because in order to learn something you have to consciously make an effort and that's true I agree but once that thing is learned you get out of your own way and you let your subconscious do the work for you right now that's not right I'm trying to add too much waves in there we're gonna keep it nice and simple bum, 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 bum. there we go it's gonna echo the shape of the other one no. it'll go off and do its own independent thing from time to time but we want it kind of echoing the shape of the other one good almost done with this one now I'm gonna just get this here you see it's a lot bigger right so I've kind of lost a lot of the the size of it as I've been going straight ahead but that's all right maybe I'll have it come back to itself as she turns and we go around the sartorius right so we go here yeah it's fine I may want her knee coming out no because it just pops out that might be nice to have a little glimpse of knee right but I'm gonna do that for the moment all right So we have this. Actually, let's keep it simple. Let's just keep it in line with that shape. Right. So now as, as the dress pops down, it doesn't matter. Because as she steps down, we kind of save that. How do you keep it consistent? I've been meaning to ask A and B, how do you animate characters with intricate patterns on their design like a tattoo or armor details? Tattoo is a bit difficult because of the... Um, uh, okay, so hair as it comes back, we grow in size, right? Um, but I'm going to keep it as is because I'm, I'm going to tidy that up and make those fixes as I go along the way. It's all looking good enough to me. That, that skirt, section of that skirt is looking really nice. Um, so again, I'm, I mean, one of my videos that I've noticed that's doing very well um, organically uh, is my video about consistency, Animator Alex. Now, you remember the, the secret science of shape simplification in the archive with the, with the Peacock run. In fact, we're 1 hour 18. Let's talk about real animator training right now, right? And let, we'll use this as an opportunity to talk about the secret. Yeah, Mr. Leon is dabbing. So if you want to learn from my courses, go to ambanimation.com. Go to real animator training. Join the real animator training library, and I'll show you what this is all about. Um, You've got all this information and all these videos here, right, for you to read up uh, and watch and make your decision. If you're watching this live stream, you already know it's legit. Here's some. Right, so you've also got an example of people's work, like some of you are in the chat. Frilled Mayfly is in the chat, I believe. Her work is on here. She'll probably be going, Gah, I'm so much better now. But anyway, her work from a couple of years ago is on here. Right, so we've got... Um, Training archives and edutainment archives. What you're watching right now is what I call edutainment, right? I'm talking to you guys in the chat while animating a badass piece of animation beyond most people and telling you the tricks of how it's done, right? 
um, and that's what I call edutainment, right? But where it really happens, the repetition I was talking about earlier is in the training archives, right? Now, animator Alex has just asked me a question about patterns, right? So we've got all these various archives. You've got the basics archive, the intermediate archive, where you follow it all step by step and you draw along with me. You don't watch the video and try your own thing and put your own anime character on there. This isn't one of those kind of courses, right? You know, um, please buy somebody else's course if you want to do that, right? I get results because you follow what I do, right? If you're watching courses, obviously things aren't working for you, so you need to do something different. So why don't you try it my way uh, instead of the way that you've been trying? And I promise you something different will happen. So you follow me step by step in these videos and you draw along. We've got basics archive, we've got intermediate archive. I'm going to talk about advanced archive at the moment here because we're going to talk about patterns, right? So secret science of shape simplification in the advanced archive animator alex now animator alex i know you're still slowly working away at the basics archive but feel free to just watch this for inspiration right it's a um it's a eight part video where you basically can you see here in this video right in this video from the thumbnail you can see what i'm doing i'm working out the peacock stale right let's just hit play along here somewhere right i'm working out the peacock the well but that's the, the principle peacocks. is the same on right. all these kind of things whether you right so here on the peacock stale right i've jumped a bit as I've the looked. formula is basically okay there's gonna be one feather and like this is the tail section here it's gonna be one feather and proceeding out of that there's gonna be another one okay and proceeding out of that there's gonna be another one and proceeding out of that there's going to be another one okay so four feathers okay right so in that video we talk about how to actually animate the pat the the feathers on the tail do we get to the patterns no we don't right so in another one of these videos we start talking about the patterns so here you can see me making little eye shapes on the tail right in the thumbnail so let's have a look hello hello and welcome welcome Right, the David Frost impersonation that has never gone away. About it's about right, managing so the master shape. Okay, so now we're coming open. We can introduce another feather, and now we can bring some nice consistency to the man. Scale. My so courses are so fucking great. I want to sit down and watch the whole thing myself and learn from myself. <laughs> I mean, what a great thing. I, I mean, I just like I haven't seen this course for a long time. You all the information, and I mean, it all looks like the same one in the same. Okay, everything is solid, even though it's an organic tail feather moving. So that is basically how to create the in-between. Uh, this would be drawing number two, as said. And then you'd, you'd need to clean it up. You'd need to give it the same file lining process, which is what I did here. And you can see um, in this So one, you can see all the various the like thing. so. Uh, just refined a little bit, okay? Uh, with the line so so that's you basically see the same how that thing works. is kind of happening um, in fact in the original one I didn't even introduce that eye in that frame okay I didn't even introduce that extra peacock eye and you don't notice okay, let's, stop let's have a look at him okay you just don't notice okay. there he is running away those finished in between colored in uh, feathers and they have to be solid they have to be consistent because when you color it in if they're not solid and consistent you are going to um you're going yeah just leave it at that right so that is basically the um the secret science of shape simplification um which which is the first lecture in uh the advanced archive of the real animator training library so that basically gives the game away alex whether you are doing um now you one of the videos that's blowing up at the moment is my video on the great one right um which is a lot more complex because you're talking about facial tattoos right so as i said now um i've got a six size brush let's make it big so we've got the 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 shape of the character's face is this right right so he's he's like a, but but then he's got his eyes here like this with his eyebrows but then 
you have to base the pattern on various anatomical parts of his face right so here he's gonna have a thick marking right and here he'll on these parts of his eyebrows he will have do markings like this but they will deform as his face deforms right so he's got his his mouth hair like this and then coming here we've got another facial tattoo but this triangle isn't just a little shape on a peacock's tail as he opens his mouth as he as he closes his mouth it's going to deform and change shape right so it's knowing you know even his bottom lip it's like it's almost like a pattern thing like this right so and then on here we've got the the forehead tattoo which is like this you know along the center line like that right so at, at the end and, and then the three marks along here right so these are going to change according to his expression and whatever uh e even his neck now his neck is gonna he he's got clothes on so you don't see it but his neck design is based on like he's got a sternocleidomastoid so at the top one there right then he's got a he's got a trapezius coming out here at the back so we've got another one coming here like this right so man what a, a, a i was kind of bored of this character but as i'm drawing him what a great what a great design he is right so just um and then here where his jaw is he's got another one right do marks there to hidden in where the anatomy of his jaw is right so that's basically the same thing that uh, oh mage burger is here that's basically the same thing that um that we do in the peacock thing but on now on an extremely new level because we are adding deformations muscle deformations similarly if she's wearing clothes you've got to add deformations of the pattern on her clothes right according to the bend and the fold how do you learn that you learn that through study of life drawing gesture sketching and all that kind of stuff so the principle what you learn in the secret science lecture is is the answer animator alex but then the complexity comes through your understanding of deformation right that's what it is so anyway real animator training is an extremely powerful tool uh giving you step-by-step follow-along instruction i've spent the past six years building this we have mr leon in the chat mr leon has worked on uh teenage mutant ninja turtles and he has worked for disney i don't know what he's working on now but he is a member of this archive so we have people that are professionals joining to learn real hand-drawn animation we have people who have graduated from cal arts animation mentor people who have given the great don bluth 10,000 usd of their own pocket have then come back to learn from real animator training for a great deal less uh, so we have got so many people joining this it really is the world's best learning resource in the craft of hand-drawn animation if you like no nonsense straight talking i'll give you the answer you just simply have to surrender your ego and do exactly as i tell you to do how badly do you want it uh you got it that's real animator training and i'd like to add you have it for the price of an xbox with a few games uh you know you have it for the price of a drone or a gaming laptop so anybody that complains about the price of the uh real animator training library listen i want you to look at the name of this thing it's called a real animator training it's for real animators so you gotta get real to be real right you, you want to spend that money on your gaming laptops your vacations your nike trainers your whatever um good luck i wish you the best but then don't complain about the world's best animation training being gifted to you you know for a fraction of the price of the inferior alternatives where their students have had to join this place 
to fill in the gaps from the things that they've learned. So again, as I said, I, I like to talk straight up and that's what I feel about real animator training. If you feel that too, then go join it, go turn your life around. The answer you have been looking for is here and the change that you wanna make can start happening now. Okay, so that's real animator training library. Let me now continue on with, um, with this skirt. We have done the first section of the skirt. Let us now go on and do the next, the other side. So I'm gonna build it from the outside in. I'm gonna do, again, I'm gonna use the Satorius as my guide, right? Now her Satorius muscle would really be going like this, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna start from, I could start from the hip there and come around and do a big chunk here if I want to, but I'm gonna be a little bit more flat because I wanna play around with more I want to play around with more um, grass layers and have more fun with this, right? So, let's straighten this up. Bum, bum, bum. Now, of course, let's do that. Let's echo what the other one's doing. It's a little bit too thin. Right, the second go should be better than the first go. Right, why? Because I'm doing f repetition, right? I have built some brain cells of what I want to do with this, with the movement of the skirt. I need to flip a bit more rather than trying to draw it, right? And after building those brain cells, I'm now more informed. Of. The movement of it. And what I can get, you see how instinctively I put a little dink there and that works nicely for that section there like that. Now I'm gonna add another kind of little wave in there like that. That'll be good. Bum, bum. Man, I I can't tell you how much. I, I don't think I can ever get tired of hand-drawn animation, right? I really don't understand people that want software to do these things for them, right? It's just so much, so much um, fun being able to have control over what you're doing, right? Right. This, this comes this way. It's getting a lot faster now. down okay this is where we could potentially okay that's good put a little wave in that like that let's bring that up Let's have a little look at this side of the skirt before we continue. Bum, bum, bum. He literally did not mention a single thing about that Kung Fu Tiger until the exact second you showed up. Who's that? Life fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's not a Kung Fu Tiger, actually. He doesn't know any Kung Fu or martial arts. He's a, he's got um, mogul he's like a mogul tiger mogul period was in India 
right so here I've got a nice you can see the nice independent movement of either side now really feeling like that skirt is made out it's going to be made out of sections thank you again to my friend who is always donating me when I live stream I can't tell you how how grateful I am sir um, that's like now every live stream I really appreciate that um, every little bit helps uh, so to those of you who are I say shouting me a drink while I entertain you with these donations I am um, I'm extremely grateful thank you um, so we're gonna keep this going on here like that yeah the 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 great one is based on um, the Indians couldn't say Mongol so they created the word mogul I believe the Mongolian people like Genghis Khan and um, those kind of people who went conquering other lands I guess they went to they were in Turkey and places like that so I want I've got a bit of that in my own heritage those of you who know about the name Mirza in my name um, it's uh, comes from Mughal descent so I wanted to create a, a character that had that kind of background because I thought it would be cool right so we have um, this that comes here like this now you see I'm changing I'm, I'm going over the knee I'm just echoing the knee I'm taking that wave aspect out and I'm just going to embellish that part of that so that'll sort itself out it's a bit messy at the moment so you, you may not see how it is sort going to sort it out but it will sort it out mm -mm -mm. I haven't animated the AMB lady for a very long time and I have to say that I, th I really do enjoy it in fact I enjoy it too much I'm working on a project right now that requires me to not which is why I don't stream as much because I really want to get that done um, but after doing the live stream of this I want to take this further because I really enjoy it right so again we have got thinner there so it's gonna grow now with organic things it doesn't matter if we lose volume and it organically grows but I may want to um, I may want to fix that volume off stream myself just because right but it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna try looping it and we're gonna look at these two little bits of the skirt let me take a quick little check of that yep that looks wonderful yep they grow down there like that as we loop back so it's sudden we that's easily fixed we just shorten this the thing but I'm not gonna do that right now and let that be a guide to any of you just don't interrupt the flow I've interrupted the flow so many times as I've been on this live stream whether it's to answer questions or talk about the training library or show you some tips um, so here we can see if it was looping just how that those two sides of the grass skirt 
are going to be moving. And I have to say it's looking very naturalistic and nice and subtle, right? Everything is subtle with, with the way the follow through and overlap is. We don't want the hair, the breasts or the skirt to take the attention away from the dance step and the movement. That's, that's what we really want um, is everything to just feel like it's just helping bring the, the movement and the dance up. Bum, bum, bum. I successfully extracted the groundhopper lore from AMB. Um, I'm working on an animated Christmas ad for a video game. Free Fire. Oh wow, well there you go. I made my own animated Christmas ad for AMB animation when we did our two minute film of the Christmas boy. So it's actually a lot of fun. Okay, um, how oh, we're one hour 41 in. Let's do another little in, let's, let's now divide this skirt at the center, right? Let's go right down the center and it, we may need to split it a little bit, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go let's think about what we can do right we can either come off this thing here like this and come off this thing yeah because if we come off here it'll be better than going down the middle right because then I'll have another two right I'll have another two here and any gap in there will just be a you know we could have a, a grass pattern on there like that or something yeah so I'm gonna go from where her um, stomach is right um, and I'm going to now think about that now when I do this I'm gonna do that right I'm gonna go doing that but I'm just gonna bring it to the bottom at the moment right that's what I'm gonna do right now it's tempting for me to just do the other one like that, but I'm not, right? So and this one will come here like this. Let me just do something like this though, because that'll give me some deformation to work on. Now you see where the anatomy of her hips and stomach doing all that stuff is really going to give me something to work on. Now this knee comes together, right? And that knee I might want to press through, right? That might be the, my chance to have a bit of knee coming through. Then this one will go over like this. This one will come over there like that. So there's a bit of layering on the skirt now, right? Which I will deal with more better like later right but at the moment I'm just giving myself some ideas of what to do down there but I'm not focusing on that right if I focus on that if I focus on that so now I have to think about this side right I'm thinking of this as an individual so I'm drawing into the other one now right Right, so then this is going to then 
delay off here like this like a straight bum, bum, bum. No, I've got to think about if it's delayed, it'll move out. That's where the stomach is, but I've got to change it a little bit as we want to keep the... Um, now this, I might have an up feel to it, right? Just to give it some perspective. And a little bit of a gap in the skirt here, right? So there's a little bit of a gap that I'm going to want to put here. So whatever I'm organically feeling right now, I'm putting in there. All right, so now it's going to catch up on itself. Going to bring it over the other one a little bit like that then we're gonna settle the wave down here like that all right now I'm gonna quickly test test that little section I'm going to be making a pet Petron announcement video with, with a salesman persona. Um, yep, yeah, we're getting some nice overlap from one of the grass sections to the other. So our skirt is going to look great when we start to draw it in hopefully you can see see just how simple this actually is right and the stream is one hour 47 minutes but if i wasn't live right I'd probably be here in half the time right Part of the gimmick of me is that like I can do work very fast live at a very high level. But I'm not going to pretend to you that it, that that doesn't affect my speed, right? Because there's always awareness of the audience, right? Now I'm going to create a split here. Like this. I'm going to bring that up. So that's going to hang off her knee. you got to think about what the knee is doing, right? Very important now, as that knee could get a chance to poke through, but I don't think so. Right. I don't think so. This could be an interesting opportunity to add some separation. Right, like this. The separation in there. Delay that. Bum, bum, bum. Straighten that up. Pure pendulum exercise right in the basics archive we have so many videos on pendulum swings right and 
hopefully like every every piece of animation I do I always try to illustrate you where those fundamental basics of bouncing balls and swinging pendulums are absolute must right which is why when I can't believe you know people who should know better people from the animation industry well the industry is kind of doesn't really know what doesn't really have animators in it anymore which is why AI can successfully be used because it has technicians who think they're animators who would tell me that the flower sack was more important as a beginner exercise than the bouncing ball on the swinging pendulum like really um, the flower sack is a mass of shapes representing a flower sack even if it's one big shape you're bending it, you're squashing it, you're stretching it, you're doing all these things to it. I think you need to learn how to move a simple round ball first and then attach a line to that ball and figure out how it would swing around before you can think about putting life into a flower sack. Can't believe the foolishness, the stupidity of some of these people who believe they're animators that were wanting to challenge me on that you know um but that's all right they're welcome to think and believe as they do so the work speaks for itself right and their work was by no way any comparison next to mine so so this is how that will come down like that. So again, there's the, this annoying growth, but I'm ignoring it because it doesn't matter. Okay, Cameron is off. Good night, Cameron. Zentron is off too. My buddies from the UK and Scotland are off. Right. Yeah, looking absolutely awesome. Um, we've just got the other section to do now. That's uh, that goes back pretty fast there, like that. But let's see. Let's loop that. That'll that's a fix that'll need doing but I'm going to try to um, this isn't in between either right so a lot of that can be solved with actually in betweening it but I like to see everything working to this level before any in betweens are added because yeah that skirt is looking absolutely awesome we just need to make it look like grass. But we got a lot of nice follow through overlapping action down on there. Okay. Um, yeah, so just one more to do and that's it. Right. Um, for the stream, I think because everything else I will do offline. I will make it look like a grass design. So I'm gonna come here. Let's separate it like that. That'll do. Oopsie. So. Let's have a separation in there. I can't really go along her stomach here, but I have to think about that. So there's a separation in the middle. There's a separation here. Now this is going to have to 
bring bring it together it's gonna get squeezed together now maybe we can have the no that's not right so maybe I can have that knee poking through but I'm not gonna do that actually because that's not gonna work actually I'm being very silly it can work like this um, the more lines I'm adding the more I'm getting lost right? but that's what that's where focus and concentration is extremely important All right so I'm gonna have a separation here I'm not gonna put many waves in this one just when I get the chance here just like this right now we're gonna have it swinging back on itself So there's a big gap in here now, bigger than I thought, all right? But that's all good. Let's have that come under here like this. That's nice. You got a little bit of a gap there. Let's bring that. Uh, so this one is mainly being um, overlapped by the one next to it. Right, I'm just going to have a quick look at how that's looking. Yeah, fine, perfect. All good. Very nice. And the other, the bit in the middle can just be floating as is with some grass patterns on it. Um, you know, I'm liking that so much I'm just scrubbing it for my own pleasure. Right, okay, right, so let's, um, dear oh dear, that was so damn Freudian. I've got to be careful with the things I say. <laughs> I just realized, um, <laughs> goodness me. Hopefully that'll go unnoticed. Well, if I keep going on about how Freudian it was, it won't. Right, okay, so that goes like that. Bum, 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 right. And we're going to bring that together. Right. But joking aside, It's a great feeling when you look at your own work and you feel absolutely great, right? It's like the person that now inspires me the most as an artist is myself, right? And that's a great position to be in. So now we have this. Here, like that. Almost done. I'm just going to see. Yeah, that's fine doesn't f 
fully looped back yet anyway so I can just do what it is I'm doing and make it work on the next pass so we just took in the mic animator Alex is off as well so we have this now yep so just that the skirt just gets shorter and shorter as she goes and then when we loop back it gets long again which is an easy fix right um, one last thing that I'm gonna do and that's this bit here all right I'm gonna add just a little additional one in the middle make it a nice interesting shape like that just to unify stuff so you see now I'm just kind of joining it with a triangle shape to give it some perspective when it's all drawn in I'll show you what I intend as the design for it right it's based off my drawings that you'll see as the thumbnails for the character right so let's first look at that it looks great you can really feel the legs are actually even though they're going to be concealed we can really feel that there's real anatomical movement going on in her performance now let me just quickly copy this and just loop it a bit just so we can see the action back and forth instead of just one way so goes there goes back so everything with the exception of the skirt getting a little bit shorter throughout the straight ahead pass is working very nicely um, so just a little thing because I'm gonna now go off stream and put a design on this thing and iron it out but I can't wait to see the complete animation thank you so much Dylan Smith thank you so much it's a pleasure to have people interested in what I'm doing I'm so grateful right so for the finished design for the skirt it will have a belt like this right and then along the sides I will have something like this right and these patterns don't really matter in terms of their design they're quite simple like this is two triangles and this triangle has been split into three there's one in the middle separating the two right so two triangles one in the middle separating the two right this one here with with a little dink right and then along here we'll do the same thing right then maybe along the knee I might have a few lines like that that happen along there the skirt will then also have some flowers or some additional pieces on it to make it even more badass right and I may end up giving her some 
flower bracelets and some other leg bracelets right um, what will also be included is a flower garland right which will hide a lot of the follow-through and overlap that is occurring on the breasts but that doesn't matter the whole process is taken to this level so for you to see the animation um, I don't know what that means al -ali. the whole process has been taken for you to see the animation uh, process of all of the aspects that have been used all right if I turn off this layer right we have I drew the dress on the actual layer here so you can see what the character looks like without the additional follow-through overlap so everything has been animated to work properly um, and that's why this is taking longer than it needs to because um, I'm using it for a live stream purposes and video purposes rather than just creating the animation where I would not really spend so much time drawing in the coconut bra and all that stuff if, because it was going to be covered anyway but I want you to see the as people watching me as one of the world's best animation instructors and educators I want to set that example to show you the difference that AMB does when we share videos with you on YouTube is, is you see everything you don't just see get a vague idea you see everything how it should move um, and then I go over it if I was going to animate that just purely for myself I wouldn't really be spending so much time fine lining or not, not it's not not really fine line but drawing it into this level right um, okay I'm gonna go and look at the chat for some last minute questions um, that I might have I have a, a message actually I don't know if this guy is gonna see this reply but he sent me a message I, I don't get time to answer private messages um, because I actually get tons of them thank you so much but the good ones I may read out on my channel before I do that I have Jojo Maciel or Maciel please forgive me for any mispronunciation I discovered this channel two weeks ago and it's just amazing have been binging the video since then my absolute pleasure thank you so much I have realized um, that black belt jones <laughs> you take care too i have realized that um i don't care about algorithms or beating algorithms all i care about is getting my info out there so i've started using youtube promotion because i know my stuff is extremely it's the best and I make no apologies for saying that because I firmly believe it to be the best and I want it to reach as many of you people as I can to help you um, to help you get better and understand and say hey look you want to do this I'm right here um, I've got the answers um, and I'm, I'm willing to share them with you so it's all good thank you so much for watching now I have a message from somebody who messaged me a little while back and what did he say mm -hmm. no Come on, man. Where's his message? There we go. Um, this guy, Mickey Diaz of Unisan. I don't know what Unisan is. 
subject animator an amateur 2d animator with an associate's degree in digital design and production um, hi I'm Mick Mikey I graduated college in 2019 with an associate's degree but then the pandemic made it hard on my life in what to do next. Since then, I have worked on storyboarding and drawing keyframes. Though not perfect, one of them, Microville, was viewed by Nickelodeon's Contact Accelerator program. My main tools I use is Adobe Photoshop and Clip Studio EX. That doesn't matter. I just have to add that. Now in 2023, I'm debating if I should get my BA to get my foot in the door. BA means Bachelor of Arts degree. I seen your channel before and how you had worked on a lot of animated series before. I know my past projects are not that professional, but working on projects like Unisan, Galaxy, working on that day and night i still have chills in finishing the projects to this day that is my magnum opus animation has been a huge part of my life and i wish to have my ideas air or stream one day in the future thanks for your time mickey dias de leon i have to say i love that name four names mickey dias de leon awesome now, my answer to that is very simple. And I've got to be careful because even though I feel I'm speaking to an adult, um, I do have a qualified opinion, right? So I don't want to just say that my opinion is just an opinion. It's a qualified opinion. I'm 20 years had 20 years experience in the animation business. I've been an animation director, an animation supervisor, a lead character designer, a lead storyboard artist, a head of story, a story artist, an animator, a project designer, you know, a layout artist. You know, I've even done voices. So I've been in this game for a long time. But the industry has changed since I've left. So I can, I can give you seasoned, seasoned opinion, but not necessarily a current opinion due to the current state that is qualified. Because I left the animation industry five years ago, six years ago, or five years ago. 2019 was my last uh, official project. So I don't know. My maths is really bad now. What are we? Almost 2024. Almost five years ago, I quit the animation industry because I have no interest in it anymore and I'm much, I'm much happier being a real artist and a real animator earning money purely from my own work but therefore that means I've been out of the game for five years in terms of the industry by choice I still get offers to go and supervise projects fully funded accommodation included and all but I don't take them because I don't enjoy that life. I don't enjoy doing minimal drawing. I don't enjoy the kind of projects being turned out in the industry today. I don't enjoy the stories being told. I don't enjoy the change of character design. I like character design the way it used to be. I don't enjoy modern character designs. I would rather draw and animate for myself as I said I'm a middle-aged guy now so I'll be I'm happy I've spent a good part of my youth learning but also I wouldn't say wasted because the industry taught me a lot but there's no way I would go back there but I'm telling you that because my opinion is qualified but not necessarily current but I don't think it takes a qualification for anybody to see what's happening in the, in the film business, particularly 
all over the world right now with the advent of AI. We have got strikes in Hollywood. We have got Jeffrey Katzenberg, the former head of Walt Disney and DreamWorks. DreamWorks used to be Spielberg, Katzenberg, Geffen, SKG. The man knows what he's talking about. Um, many people are reacting sensitively to this, him saying that the animation... What did, what did Jeffrey Katzenberg say? Let's quote him. Katzenberg... Katzenberg AI animation. Let's just get on to that. Katzen's Katzenberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg says, this is from Bloomberg, okay, which is a, a, a business site, a financial site. Jeff Katzenberg says, AI will cut cost of animated films by 90%. And I think he said within three years or something like that. I can't remember. Yes, within 90% of the artist jobs. Former DreamWorks Animation CEO Jeffrey Katzenberg says AI will take 90% of the artist jobs on animated movies within three years. So, if you was to get a bachelor degree in animation right now, Mickey, I'm sorry to say that most of these guys on these degrees don't really teach you anything of any worth anyway. Otherwise, why do I have people who have paid 180k from CalArts paying me money to join my course? Now, I do agree that I'm the best out there. And I, I'm not even smiling when I say that. That's a fact when it comes to learning. Learning how to do this thing. Nobody's as thorough as me. Nobody gives you the step-by-step -step training. But regardless of that exception, you can bet that they've also invested in other courses out there. Because animation degrees, sadly, no longer teach you the fundamentals which is real animator training teaches you, which is the fundamentals of drawing and um, the 12 laws of animation in relation to drawing, not just the 12 laws in relation to technology. So animation has shifted from art, being art to being technology. And the man there has said it himself. He has basically said 90% of artist jobs. So basically the only remaining 10% will be artists and the 90% will be the technician. The, the the simulated technician, right? And this is why people used to cry when I used to say, my brand is real animated training. What are you saying? Are you saying CG is not real? That's exactly what I'm fucking saying, right? I've been saying it a long time ago. AI is not new. The minute you play with something, you're playing with something artificial. You're not using the real skills. You're not using those fundamental skills. You turn it more into the technology, which is people again don't like it when I oh when I when I have uh, when I when I'm not so pleasant, when people always ask me what software, and I liken software to the toilet I shit in. It's a necessary tool, but that's all it is, right? They don't like it, but then when it comes for their jobs, they're hurt, they're butt hurt, they're complaining now. Well, I've been saying it for a long time. I've been saying, what are you going to spend your time learning? Are you going to be spending your time learning something where you're easily replaced? Because that's what happens with technology, period. You learn it, you're easily replaced. Unless you're the guy who's passionate about creating the programs themselves, creating the software, using the coding. Even that's at risk, right? When you draw... You have your own unique expression. So what Gatzenberg says is very telling to me. A lot of people think, well, the 10% of artists are just going to be um, people who do the designs and storyboards. You don't think AI is going to be doing that too? You see, what happens is, is I believe hand-drawn animation is suddenly going to be rediscovered 
in the very artificial saturated market as something very human. And it's going to be a special event that these filmmakers turn out just like it was when Disney used to turn out one film every two years or one film every three years. Then they either got greedy, they started trying to turn out one film a year and then make these bargain basement bin buckets. So just like you have your little stop motion animations coming here and there, hand-drawn animation is going to be back and it's going to be back and it's going to be exclusive and it's going to be niche for the real artist which could be you and should be you if you do the right things. So the point of the matter is, should you spend your time getting a BA? Hell no. That's my opinion. If you think that's going to get your foot in the door, that's never got anybody's foot in the door if you live in the West. If you live in India, if you live in China, if you live in, I don't know, Philippines or I don't know one of the, these kind of societies Asian societies I can speak more than African because I'm from Indian descent they worship degrees in those countries as status symbols and they think that that's that piece of paper really makes make it the man I don't know why the, those countries have Zen Buddhism uh, you know meditation and third eye and all this insight and such wisdom but yet when it comes to that they throw it all out the window for this uh, this you know scam which i think universities are but that's my personal opinion right but just look at the evidence you know i've met so many people who are just amazing artists who've never been to uni who have succeeded in fact just look at all the people out there look at all the famous musicians look at all the successful musicians look at all the successful uh directors filmmakers whatever most of them i think you will find did not come go to film school right most of the people who have really excelled in their craft did not go to film school some of them might have but most of them did not most of them just are you know you've got also bill gates mark zuckerberg all these people who've made shit loads of money where's the uni degree right i could be wrong on some of them but i think anybody who thinks you need that piece of paper to get ahead in 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 a, in, a, in this world is uh is completely you know mistaken that's just my view but that's you've asked my opinion right um so what i think you should do if you're passionate now you haven't been clear what type of animation you like to do i i'm sorry i didn't look at the the name of the project you talked about but if you're passionate i i suggest you focus on learning how to do it and how to do it really well and i think you've got to change your mentality as a lot of you have a lot of you the world is changing so fast and it's changing i saw this image of like how the world changed gradually through the ages and then when the 2000s hit and these smart devices came suddenly boom the change is so rapid so i'm not saying you can't be in the industry and if you really want to do something you will find a way to get there how you get there don't focus on just focus on getting there because when you focus on the how you get caught up in the details when you get caught up in the details you get distracted and sidetracked so all you have to do is just focus on um, if you want to get into the industry that's what you're going to do and you're going to do anything and everything to get into the industry and whatever opportunity comes your way you're going to take it right but my opinion is which is instead of just setting your sights on the industry embrace the change of the world that we live in now right I think a lot of people really are living with old world mentality and it's going to change even more. We're only in Web 3.0 just, right? It's going to change even more, right? So the, I'm talking like this and I'm still doing drawings, right? Because I know I saw where it was going and I didn't, I didn't get scared. I said, you know, that's what I want to do and I'm going to do it. And I'm not focusing on the how, I'm just doing it and I'm letting it happen.
but I don't want to get all philosophical. Let's get practical since you guys like pract practicality a lot, right? So ultimately, you have to understand that now is the best time ever for you to be a real artist, just like the real artist should be. You call the shots. You create the characters. You create the designs. You want to collaborate? Collaborate with other independents and make something great. I know some of you are hero worshipping these big characters from these Cash Cow Studios. Good luck to you. But I, I would say in the meantime, there's so much opportunity for you to succeed and be successful and make money from your art and support yourself and support your families. It is not hard at all. Let me tell you that. Anybody tells you it's hard, like to them being constipated and doing a hard shit is hard, right? You know, everything's fucking hard, right? It's not hard. It just takes understanding and strength and discipline and willpower and focus and not being able to crumble. You know, you got to have a little bit of thick skin. You got to have trial and error. The thing is, is what you got to really have is a burning desire. You got to want it, right? You got to want it and you got to want it enough to say that there ain't no alternative. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing. The degree only helps if you're in a remote place and you have nobody to feed energy, creative energy off. And everybody around you puts you in a bad vibration. Maybe if you go to a degree, you'll meet some like-minded people, make friends, make contacts. And that'll help you in that old world way, which is now shifting where everything... You know, all these lockdowns and everything was a practice, I believe, to get people used to just being alone in their own, staring at a screen. Because unfortunately, I, you know, that's what I think, that that's the, that's the way this world seems to want to operate, right? As everything is getting more techn technology-based, you know? There's a good side, there's a bad side, right? can get very lonely, depends how, how you deal with loneliness. I, for one, am never lo alone when I'm with myself right but ultimately you have you have you're living in a golden age right now for you to to make things happen and the reason i believe most people want to be part of the industry is the insecurity of yourself the lack of faith you have in yourself to succeed as an artist you want a security blanket. You want to work for a big company that will always give you jobs to do drawings. Well, the world's changed. You can still do drawings if that's what you want to do, but you have to make sure that those drawings are serving people as well as serving you so that you get some money in return for them and your projects can be made. If you really want to work on another one of these projects, that if that's your end goal, I want to work on Batman, or I want to work on The Incredible Sten, or whatever crap that that show is, or whatever. Sorry to say that, that's just how I feel about the current Hollywood industry. If that's your end goal, then more power to you. It can be done, but you put all your energy into that. You research. You don't necessarily spend all your time being great at animation anymore because they don't want somebody who's great at animation anymore as you said jeffrey katzenberg is willing to cut he says in three years time 90 percent of a artist animator jobs will be taken by ai right and then if you want to see yourself as that 10 percent, i would say good that's already a head start. Don't be so afraid of that word. In my opinion, if I was in that position, I would be rubbing my hands. I'd be saying, great, it's going to be easier for me to be seen now. Because all the crap is going to give up. All the people who, who don't really want it are going to give up. Because they ain't going to get a chance. Whereas, if you know yourself, you're going to say, 
that's all I'm that's what I'm on this earth to do that's all I'm here and that's what I'm going to do and that's where I'm going to be I'm not at the 10% I'm at the fucking 1% right that's the way you look at it if you want to be part of that and then you channel all your energy into doing that nothing else that's the way it works. You want to you want to take some side distractions, you want to take breaks, you want to do whatever, you want to have fun, you want to you want to th th then that ain't your life when the odds are at 10%, right? Relax after it's done. But then you'll find that if you're that kind of person, you don't like relaxing anyway. So that's what I have to say in answer to that um question I was given me to sum it up shortly go for your dream you don't need a degree especially not now you'll be potentially wasting three years of your life tons of money in an industry that is already one of the CEOs of one of the world's leading at one point highest grossing DreamWorks displaced Disney at one point when they released Shrek and was the highest grossing animated movies Jeffrey Katzenberg was the CEO was the chairman of Disney animation he went on to become the CEO of DreamWorks it has come from somebody of that l lineages mouth in three years time 90% of artist animated jobs will be replaced by AI now you can be like some other people who I respect at the moment and cry about that or you can rub your hands and say good the shit is gonna leave the building and it's leaving space for me if you want part of that world or you can just carry on doing what you're doing regardless I don't affiliate with Hollywood anymore I don't affiliate with the animation industry anymore I feel I have grown beyond that it's not for me it's not doesn't interest me so why should I care what's going on in that world? Why should I be afraid of it? Why should I even react to it? It's got nothing to do with what I'm doing. What I'm doing is creating great animation. I'm training the real animators of the future. Because as long as you're human beings with two arms and two legs, you're going to want to draw. And there's going to be a percentage of people out there that are going to always want to draw. And that are always going to want to bring their drawings to life. I concern myself with that. I don't concern myself with with the industry that just wants to turn out sequel after sequel while pushing every agenda every every so couple of years, which is the flavor of the month. Not for me, right? I want to tell the kind of stories that ex interest and excite me. I want to create that, right? I'm a creator. I'm not a competitor. So that's the best advice I can give to you asking me that question. Jojo Machiel, I'm an animation student with zero budget, so my only source is YouTube and books I can find on the internet. Your channel is so helpful, even though I'm still kind of lost on the learning process. I learn a lot. My pleasure, Jojo. Uh, uh, yeah, my channel is great, but as, as you said it yourself, it's not as structured, right, like my course. But, you know, stay in there, keep doing trial and error, keep learning um, and uh, doing stuff out there. I've got a great Facebook community. Um, let me just share my screen with you for a minute. Okay, if you go to Facebook, right? If you go to Facebook, I have this group called Real Animator Growth Development and Progress, right? It's a place, if you go to Featured, you got these Real Animator Preliminaries um, archive here. You've got nine free archives from my training library, which will really help you uh, far more than my YouTube channel. You just copy the link in the description and you paste the password. And you got all these, you know, you've got one video from three videos from my basics archive, one, two from my anatomy archive, one from my intermediate, and three edutainment videos, right? Um, that's one hour, 20, two hours, so that's three hours, 20, four hours, five hours. 
six okay so you've got tons of hours of free content for you to watch from my course uh there jojo um and also if you join this group it's you've got to answer some questions because we were getting too many bots to prove that you're a human but you will be able to hang around with people who are library members and non-library members but people with your kind of mentality who are following the library exercises um i have no idea why why this well, this is on here. I mean, I don't want to delete it. He's sharing his work, but it looks like cutout work. We don't really do cutout here. Um, so you can hang around in this group. You can see what people are doing, how they're studying, what they're learning. Uh, and you can also use that to help yourself structure your learning. It's free content. It's my absolute pleasure. And if you get any, if you come into any kind of funding, the Real Animator Training Library is always there. But uh, I'm, I'm so happy that you're enjoying my channel. It's my pleasure. Um, all, Ali, all the luck. Hi, AMB. I just picked up Preston Blair's book and I was told to copy the tutorials, construction drawings from inside and compare my work to the original. Is that a good place to start? Um, that's what I used to do when I was 15 years old. And it helped me, right? But it also taught me bad habits. It taught me bad habits about anatomy. I thought that I could draw. I've always liked drawing beautiful women. You can see, um, you know, I'm animating one right now. I'm just, you know, but it, uh, you know, and he, Preston Blair draws them like Fred Moore. They're absolutely amazing in that book. You know, he's got his cartoon constructions in there. Problem is, is you learn that. And that's all you learn and you don't really learn how to design your own stuff that style because you copied his stuff so when you copy his stuff it looks great but when you try to do it your own way it always looks off that's because you you'll then develop bad habits by trying to do it your own way and doing what you've learned from Preston Blair and then you you're not really learning the real things which is real anatomy and design theory and stuff like that so I would say if you want to do it on a budget, it's a good way to do it, but you've got to incorporate it with other training, other kind of like, I would say, um, particularly if you want to do hand-drawn animation, life drawing, gesture drawing, figure drawing is a must, but not the way people do it. Okay, you've got to understand the anatomy of the human body. You've got to take some time out and learn the bones and learn the muscles and really get intimate with with the thing that you're trying to caricature so that's my advice to that bum, bum, bum. i just think movies are not making a lot of money because the market is just overly saturated and it's just a very tired medium now the streaming media has just like you know you know just absolutely saturated the market saturated the industry and it's just become too much of chasing like the algorithm mentality meaning that like this is what people like so we'll make this or you know um the politically motivated um uh investors shall we say companies like blackrock and uh, whatever who have who want to uh, who have got the funds and want to push a certain viewpoint onto people that generally are not interested in that viewpoint. Um, but uh, as I said, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's good. There are enough films being made out there for me to discover and watch for the rest of my lifetime. I like watching older films because that's, they just appeal to me more. So I don't need them to make anything else. And as I said, I don't really consider myself to be part of that industry in the world of independent artists and independent filmmakers are far more interested in what we make um uh when we are not bound and limited by those uh things and as jeffrey katzenberg says the industry will no longer represent artists 90 percent of it will be done by artificial intelligence art then i, I certainly won't be looking to the industry for creative uh, inspiration um, so um, it has you know I couldn't care less um, Jamie about whether these films make money or not you know um, I'm so thankful that 
the, the film industry existed and gave us this wealth of amazing. Yesterday I watched the movie um, Sleeping with the Enemy. I'd never seen that film before. I remember being a kid when it was released. And um, I watched it for the first time yesterday. And there are so many old films out there. It's not even old, but films from my youth that I haven't seen that are there to entertain me. So um, I don't really have much interest in watching um, stuff for the t made primarily for the TikTok uh, generation that don't really understand how to read editing, don't really understand um, about shot composition because they like looking at a vertical screen. Um, who knows, maybe we will all be buying new televisions as a new industry. They will change televisions to be vertical. And film will now be a vertical medium. Um, and good luck to that. Um, I will carry on watching my landscape um, productions and using the sensibilities and uh, technicalities and craftsmanship that was made when it was an art form and that's why I'm here to maintain that art form and to to help you guys learn and understand that art form so you can share it too. My pleasure Dylan draws it's my absolute pleasure. Ed Dado, Charlene Giles, all the um, all the luck um, it's absolutely awesome seeing you on my streams. I don't know where Kitchikat is these days. Um, I've got potentially some work for her, but she seems to have disappeared um, from my streams. Um, but uh, I have to prep some work for Michael Davies and Kitchikat uh, later this week. All right, I will. Um, I will keep you updated on the. Uh, progress of this particular piece of animation as I do it. Um, maybe we may do another stream about the garland of flowers and all that stuff. Uh, doing more follow through with that. Um, and um, more on that when I get to there. In the meantime, um, I will say keep it real. And I will, I will um, see you all on the next live stream. Thank you so much for joining me on today's stream. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.